Welcome everyone back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing our version two of our automatic water feeder. Our first water feeder that we tried to make, um, it worked right if we would have had it set up the correct way to do it. Uh, we needed a, a cap so we could build up our, our negative pressure so that it could have an equilibrium at this water part right here. So instead we're going to take some of these parts off of our first uh, iteration and we're going to manipulate it to work for our version 2.0. So right here is an old vacuum chamber that Tristan and my dad made uh, at our old house when they were doing some projects. So we're going to take this and we're going to retrofit it so that we can use it as our reservoir for our water for our chickens and then we'll also mill, uh, build a connection, an inline connection with a ball valve onto our actual water trough. Um, so we'll set that up today, get it all uh, ready. We'll go over the build of this, uh, maybe. Uh, it's pretty simple, it's just PVC. Um, but we'll, we'll go over that in depth in a minute. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned, enjoy. So this is Schedule 40 PVC. Uh, this has a threaded end cap on it. So this is where we're gonna be able to fill up our reservoir. So we'll just take this out, fill it up with water after we have our inline valve that we're gonna put in. At the other end of it, we have a uh, reducer. So it goes from four inches down to two inch uh, with a, also another threaded end cap right here uh, that feeds into this PVC braided uh, hose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it right here. We're gonna fix our inline ball valve and then we're going to mock it up to our actual trough, uh, lock our ball valve, fill up our reservoir, and then we're going to check for the uh, water displacement and see where exactly we need to cut our trough. That way our chickens can get to their water. So stay tuned. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take off this end cap. Just using a regular old monkey wrench. They had vinyl, they vinyl taped this end cap. So it's not, it wasn't glued in. So now we have our end cap out. We're gonna check in here, looks good to go. Should be pretty, pretty simple. We'll re, if, if we have any more vinyl tape, we'll re-vinyl it, but no, we're no. gonna be putting this on and off so it kinda doesn't make any sense to actually make that seal. All we're trying to do, cap it off so the pressure inside this tube is equalized. So as um, th the displacement of water decreases or increases because the displacement of the water is being pushed down so the pocket of air above the water is increasing um, it'll hold vacuum so as the water decreases your air pressure on top increases uh, so that's why we have to equalize the water the the base of the water inside our actual trough before we can uh, go further so now that we have our cap off we're going to go ahead make an incision in our our tubing, and then we're gonna set up our inline ball valve. So, we have our ball valve here. This is a one inch ball valve. Um, we have this male threaded end that we're gonna go ahead and put it on the, uh, the opposite side. We already threaded this one. I'm just gonna put it in here like this. And we're gonna tighten it down. And then this will go into one side of our, our one inch hose here and one inch hose here and then we're going to be using some uh what are these things called hose clamps we're going to use hose clamps to make that connection so, should be pretty good <laughs> just taking off the vinyl tape so i'm just taking these channel locks and tightening the tightening this down I'll go a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. So that is good to go. So the ball valve looks like a ball, but it has a hole in the center. So when it's closed, or yeah, so when it's on, on which is closed, it's a solid sphere. When you open it, it turns that sphere on a, uh, on a pivot on an axis. So when you open it, it rotates that ball 
and there's a, a channel that's cut out in the center so the water or whatever um, thing you're using it for can pass through it. <laughs> Just make a noise. I didn't do it. You did. So now Tristan's gonna go ahead and make a, a snip over here. Just like that. So now we have our two pieces of one inch hose. We're gonna take our ball valve. We're gonna orient it so that we can have access to it. So we'll put it on this side and we're just gonna shove it in there and we're going to hose clamp it down. So you wanna put your hose clamp on your hose before. I already put one on. Oh, you're right. <laughs> he was right, because we have two junctions. Uh, so that's what we're about to do. We're gonna just put this on. It's gonna take like forever. Two it's gonna take, yeah. So let me get on top of the table. Oh, oh let me drop my knife. You should have lubed it up. I'm gonna pull it out. So we're just using a little saliva. And there we go. Nice. So then we'll do this one as well. So before we ratchet it all down, we're gonna test the actual, the hold of the water. So that looks pretty, uh, pretty good. So let's go over to the water fountain, fill it up with water and see how it works. have our reservoir leaning up against our barn. I'm just gonna fill it up with the water. I have our ball valve closed, so it won't let the water leak out. Let it build up pressure in the hose real quick. All right, so now I'm just gonna fill this up. Got a little bit of a leak at the point right here, but that's just because our hose clamps aren't tightened. Turn off the water, get sprayed with water. Put our threaded end cap on. Open our ball valve. All right, everyone. So we tested it earlier and we're about to show it on film now. It works. The only thing that we have to get right now is our links uh, so that it'll build in an uh, automatic cutoff for it. So as soon as it reaches a level, uh, as soon as the chickens bring it, drop it below that level, it'll be able to refill itself. So. I'm just gonna put it in like this, turn it on my ball valve. And just watch gravity take it, take the water down the, the actual PVC pipe. It's just filling up this one reservoir. This is not the one that we're gonna be using for this. This is just one that we had laying around from our, our Mark I version. So it's actually fighting against this one. There we go. So yeah, there's water in there. I'll bring y'all over here so y'all can As see. You can see it's filling it up just like that. And now it's cut off. So when you change the height and the length, it feeds more water into this trough. So Tristan's gonna just drop it again and then it'll stop feeding water in it. So whatever height we set, we can have that much water at a time in there. And then anytime you need to refill this, all we do, turn off our ball valve, come up to our top, bring our water hose, open up here, and fill this whole cylinder, this whole reservoir, 
with water and it'll be gravity fed to our chicken. All right, everyone. So I have our reducer right here. I need to match this fitting real quick. So I'm just gonna take this little nipple. I'm gonna thread it on here, just like so. Nice and threaded. Take a monkey wrench. Actually, I'm gonna use some uh, channel locks because that makes more sense. Got some channel locks. And I'm gonna just take out the slack from it. It's nice and strong. So then we have our nipple on our two inch uh, end cap. And then we go put it on our reducer just like this. And then we'll PVC glue this, this bond together. So that is complete. Next, all we have to do is use our hose clamps, tighten them down on our hoses and on uh, our ball valves, and then start working on our actual water trough. So Tristan's just gonna take the impact and ratchet down these hose clamps, just like so. So these hose clamps are going to tighten up. They're gonna cinch down like this, and then we'll have an airtight water seal uh, hose. He's gonna do the same thing here at our ball valve. These are, what are they? Uh, three quarters to one and three quarters? Yeah. Yeah, so they're three quarters to one and three quarters length. Should be so, good. Yeah. This will be super tight, uh, no water. We won't lose any water pressure because all of this is sealed. Uh, we won't lose any vacuum at the top because uh, our, our cap has uh, vinyl tape on it. And then the last one that we have to do is the end to our um, reducer. Well, we're gonna use this uh, medium blue PVC cement. Uh, there we go, you can see it there. Just gonna take this little brush. It's more like a, a ball than a brush. I'm gonna coat the inside here and the outside of here. It's a sticky boy. Just like so. Dripping it all over the place. It's less viscous than the other one. You want to be in a well-ventilated area when you do this? Okay. Are you go? You're going to have a bad time. It's about like 30 seconds or something. Let it get tacky. Kind of like rubber cement. Well, it actually kind of melts. Melts, melts the... Yeah. Well, that's what the rubber cement did to the inner tube in the tubes. So then take it, stick it on. Press fit. Mm -hmm. See why I asked why you tighten that down? Yeah, yeah. Don't break it. Then we have a bond that's not going to break. Like brotherly love. That probably will break. Brotherly love? No, the bond. I doubt it. I'm just gonna make sure this is tight because I already riched it down, so I did a dummy. Now you can really smack it. Take that blow. Going nowhere now. It's definitely not going anywhere now. So we're just gonna use a little construction adhesive for these threads. Cause somebody uh left the uh, vinyl tape inside. Did I? I didn't ever said who. I said somebody. So it was you? So if you picked up what Tristan was putting down, Tristan left it inside. No, I was asking, was it me or was it you? 
I don't know. It was you because you had it, was in, it? Your, in your pocket. That you was took it? Out. You took it out of your pocket. You. Now you can see that song. I'm blue. I'm blue too. Are you? I look like Paul Giamatti. Do you? Big fat liar. Do you? Because I'm blue. Are you? I'm. I'm a sad boy. This is much easier and uh, more effective than looks our, like a wiener. Our, our Mark One. That looks like your wiener. No. Yours. No, it doesn't. It kind of looks like a, a bee Booby. butt. A bee butt. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our end caps on. Maybe. Maybe. My hands wanna work. What? So we have this one right here. Um, this one right here. So we're just gonna smack them together. Smack it, Bobby the Boo. We'll just pick it up. Pick it up. Yep. Nice, nice, cool. All right, so we have our trough, and now we just have to make a way for the birds to get water. We're gonna draw, just like last time, uh, a line with a chalk line. And then we're gonna take our drill with a hole saw bit. We're gonna do one hole on this end, one hole on that end. And then we're going to use a jigsaw to make straight cuts across to make our trough opening. this edge real quick so that we can have our mark. Not too bad. Not too bad at it. Nicer trough than our last one. Now we have a weapon. Now we have a shuriken. A very long one. So yeah, that is a, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Now we're about to uh, fix our trough to our reservoir. Same way that we did last time with this hose clamp. I'm just gonna put it on this hose. Actually, first I'm gonna lube up the inside of this hose. Move up the, the nipple, put my hose clamp on my hose, and then push this down into here. Okay, that'll be good. Whew. So now we'll just rotate this. I don't know, maybe. Uh, yeah, this, this part doesn't matter. This goes up yep. like that. There we go. Hook up this battery to an impact, and then just ratchet down. Maybe if I put it in drive, not reverse. So we finished building our chicken water. Uh, we have our reservoir right here full of water. We have some water already in our trough. 
our ball valve is closed. Uh, so we're going to just gravity feed water into it and see what it does. So as you can hear it, it's filling up our reservoir. Yeah. As long as there's a little bit of air, air uh, yeah. gap for that air to escape. So that's what it's doing. It's gravity feeding the water down. The air is coming up top of our reservoir, building positive pressure above the water out. So then, when the water reaches a certain level right here, there's no more water. There's no more air to be able to be exchanged with the water. So now, if we look. Our bubbles, the distance of our bubbles is slowing down. It's not releasing enough air in there to feel, push the water through our pipe. So now it's, it's self leveling off right now. So there, now our reservoir, or our, our trough is full. I'm gonna go ahead, close our valve, dump out some water. Just like that. So now there's about half of what was in there originally. And I'm going to reopen up our valve. So what that just, uh, that acted as our chickens drinking all their water in their thing. It, it would just gradually fill over time. It wouldn't be so dramatic as it is currently. But as you can see through our, white, our, our clear hose, these bubbles, they're super long. So it's globbing the air back up into our pipe in exchange for the water. So as soon as we start seeing them slow down, so the distance of water between the bubbles, that, we know, that means that we're getting close to our fill rate. So if you look in, we have long bubbles. But yeah, pretty, pretty ha happy with that. So the purpose behind this is our reservoir holds two, roughly two and a half gallons of water which should be enough water to last our chickens a full day right now. So then all we have to do is run a hose to our reservoir, make sure our ball valve is closed, go to our reservoir, fill it up with water, cap it, and then open our, our ball valve. And as you can see, it's full. Ball valve still open. We have a, uh, our full line, our inline, is completely full of water. There's a little bit of air pocket right here. If I tap it, it should go up, but it's not. Uh, but what's happening is that the air in here, the volume of air is increasing and our uh, volume of water is decreasing as it's flowing through. Uh, so yeah, it's just fluid dynamics and uh, it works. So thank y'all so much. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions about this, just drop them down in the comments below. Uh, yeah, we're super excited to be able to put this in our chicken brooder tomorrow. Uh, we're going to build up a little stand for it, and uh, it'll make uh, raising our chickens easier. So um, I'll see you all tomorrow, and I hope you all enjoyed. Mm -hmm.